Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm back. Yeah, I had to switch my editing software because it just decides to stop working. And I had like three different what ifs on that software. So now I gotta start all over again. <sighs> well, anyway, you see the uh, title, you see the thumbnail, you know. What this about? Y'all asked for it, so no trip, you know I got y'all. So, what is this, like, part six? I think. Part six to what if Naruto was in high school DXD. Alright, I'm gonna start it now. So, let me show you my true seeking orbs, and then we can... Excuse me. Then we'll start with the, the basics. Naruto focused his chakra, and a small ball appeared before his hand, growing in size until it was about the size of a football. He said, why don't you attack it, Naruto said. No way, the last time I almost broke my hand against your skin. He said, shook his head. Someone else can try it. I'll try, Kiba said, gripping a sword in his hand. Naruto nodded, stepping back. And uh, letting the orb hang in the air. Kiba swung down, flinching as he felt his sword collide with what it felt like a solid wall. To his surprise, the sword started shimmering, started to shimmer lightly, flaking away in a small, in a soft breeze until he was left with only a hilt. Oh, yeah, I forgot it could do that, Naruto said. I can turn things into dust. So what what would have happened if I punched it? He said yell. I would have healed you, Naruto dismissed. Akino. Why don't you try it? Without a word, Akino shot a lightning bolt directly towards the ball. The lightning collided with the ball, disappearing on contact. Again, the orb showed no indication that it was hit. This is interesting. I wonder. Rias held out her hand. The power of destruction is supposed to be able to destroy anything, Rhea said. But something else that also destroys that maybe it's just has its limits. With that, she fired the projectile towards the orb. It collided in an explosion of red. But soon, it, the red began to glow it disappeared and the orb continued to float as if nothing had happened Rhea sighed slightly disappointed she suspected that she wouldn't be able to do anything but it was disheartening to see that was true awesome Naruto thought if that's the most powerful attack on this planet I know I can use my true seeking orbs in case of an emergency well what else can you do Issei asked Another, th another, other than that, well, you've already seen my shadow clones. Shadow clone, Riz ass. Hmm, you seen my sexy jutsu. Oh, when I use my uh, sexy no jutsu, Naruto said dryly. Do it again. No way. There's also the replacement technique. I can use it to dodge things that look like they're, they hit me. Naruto held his hand up. Someone attacked me. A fireball raced towards Naruto, coming from Akino's outstretched hand. The fireball hit Naruto dead on, leaving a plum of smoke on impact, at impact. That was me, Akino, Naruto said from behind him, completely, looking completely unharmed. They looked back at the smoke. All that remained was a charred log. You said we should attack you, Akino said. Where do you get the log? I don't know. It always appears. Aruka Sensei said something about praise beat the log back in class, but I don't really remember it. Nacho shook his head. Those are the three basics every ninja needs to know about uh clones shadow clones 
and substitutions. And after that, I don't remember any normal jutsu. All I know is the Rasengan and its variations. Rasengan? Here, Naruto formed a spear of chocolate in his hand. I can make it bigger too if I use Senjutsu. It can be as big as a tail beast bomb. That massive attack you used to hit Ryza with? Naruto nodded. The Rasengan on its own is powerful enough, but when I add a wind chakra to it, Naruto took a little. Hold up. Alright, I'm back. I had to get some real quick. So Naruto took in little nature energy along with adding wind nature to it. The Rasengan expanded, growing shuriken blades. I can make the Rasen shuriken. I can throw this one and it cuts people down to the secular level. This is a S class this is rated S class back in Kanoha. The Rasengan is A class. The Shadow Clone Jutsu is B class and the uh, teleportation or body flicker and substitution is E class. After that I only know S class jutsu, nothing lower. You're so OP, Issei said. I can use other natures to my Rasengan. Lava, boil, magnet. I can even add a tail beast bomb and truth seeking orbs. Those are my only reserve they're on those are only reserved for people really powerful. I only use them against Kaguya. She was the one who destroyed my dimension. I can use Amari Rasu and Chibaku Tensei too. I'm sure you'll find some way to combine them. Please show us. We want to see Isayel. It sounds so cool. He clawing that Naruto shirt. Alright, stop crying on my clothes. I just got these. Naruto shook Issei off. Jumping away from the others. Let me warn you that some of these attacks can destroy mountain ranges, if not countries. Rias is pure to Rod's goal. We'll start small. Rasengan! Naruto pressed Rasengan into a nearby tree. Letting it go, the Piratirage, Rias' Piratirage saw the damage that had been done. The tree had, um, had most of its wood disintegrated and it was dangerously close to tipping over. Rasen Shuriken! Naruto threw the attack away from the group. It soared for a few seconds before exploding outwards, whipping wind across the plains. A small crater was revealed, the dirt having been cut away by the force of the winds. Compared to what I do now, these seem weak to me, Naruto said as the Piratirage sweat dropped. It really wasn't fair. Why is he so strong? Okay, now I can do... Now all I can do in my base forms is add other nature transformations to my Rasengan and Rasen Shuriken. Based on the name, you could probably guess what they do, Naruto says, sitting down on the grass. Compared to outside, to the outside dimension and the underworld, the nature energy here felt so free and peaceful. It's so soothing to a sage like himself. Naruto took a deep breath, stilling himself. What is he doing? He said, whispered. I thought we were getting a demonstration. Nature energy, Konoko said, is coming to him. Naruto mixed the energy into his chakra coils, flowing it letting it flow between his physical and mental energy. It messed seamlessly, changing his chakra. It became denser and you can he can feel himself becoming more and more powerful. Finally, he stopped letting nature energy enter his body, and he stood. This is sage mode? Keep an ass. Your eyes is yellow with a cross like a toad. Naruto nodded. Yes, I am physically stronger and my senses have been extended 
much farther than normal. Naruto jumped into the air, punching the ground as he landed. A sizable crater was uh, appeared. And this being the first time Naruto punched the ground. Whoa, that's bigger than Konako's. Wait, why are your ears out? Saint Jitsu is warm. Can't help it, she replied. Hastily, she hastily put him back. Along with that, I can make this. Naruto held his arm up. A Rasengan appeared, glowing rapidly until he reached the size of a truck. I think you can guess what kind of damage this does. Naruto grinned, letting the ultra big ball Rasengan dissipate. He expelled the Senjutsu from his body, feeling slightly fatigued as his body replaced the lost chakra. However, it wasn't much, and soon Naruto's chakra was back to full. Now, I start using Karama's chakra in my attacks. I don't know if I should use them here. It's a nice place. I don't want to destroy it. But I'll try my best to name and describe them. Okay, so using Karama's chakra, I came up with a planetary Rasengan. It's a large Rasengan that is ordered in by three mini Rasengans. It does almost as as much damage as the big ball, ultra big ball Rasengan I have. Amari Rasu, a flame that burns other fire. I had to activate the Mangekyo for that. Also. That cool orange avatar is a Susano. Then I can use Chroma's chakra to move faster than lightning. I can also miniaturize the tail beast ball. I call it the ultra mini tail beast ball. I can sync with Chroma and create an avatar to use a tail beast ball. And I can make a planetary Rasen Shuriken by creating a massive Rasen Shuriken with Sage Mode. Then Karama shoots three Tail Beast Balls and surrounds it. After that, every other attack will be destroyed. Every other attack would probably destroy the entire country. It's not fair, Issei yelled. Why do you get to be so strong? Issei was crying, pounding the ground with his fist. I want to do all those cool things too. Uh, sorry. What else can you do? Rias asked. You still haven't mentioned your Sage Mode or your Renegon. So, Six Pass Mode lets me fly and I can use any chakra nature on command. No need to waste any Tail Beast chakra. I can combine that with my clones. And make nine Rasen Shurikens for Sage Art Super Tail Beast Bomb. No, Super Tail Beast Rasen Shuriken. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is a cool name. If I use my true seeking orders, not to call one he created earlier to his side. Along with Karama's cloak, I can use Sage. Actually, I'm going to try to create a move. Hmm. What's the move I can create? Hmm. Just off the top of my head, make me think. I can use six paths, ultra big, hmm, ultra big bomb, Ross and Shuriken. Yeah, I wonder if I can combine it with the Amari Rossi. Oh shit, I can't even think about that. Fuck. Probably Karma. Uh, prop. Uh, fuck. Probably Sasuke combine his Susano all the time. And you could probably trap them inside a Chibaku Tensei first, too. So, before I got this eye, that used to be my strongest attack. Now I have the Sharingan and the Renegon, so I could also. Hold up. Ugh. So I could actually make something new. Oh no. So, the Renegon lets me make and summon those meteors I used against Riser. 
and push and pull my opponents along with other things I don't remember. If I... Alright, let's test this. Let's sink first. Sink? Fine. Krama growled, letting his chakra flow freely. Rhea's, Rhea's Piratirage were surrounded by an orange chakra. They were quickly lifted off the ground, standing within the chakra avatar. It felt weird to devils while they were used to flying. It was very different from being suspended inside a chakra avatar. It felt solid beneath their feet, but it was barely but it barely felt like anything else. Other than that strange heat against the skin, Naruto turned towards the Piratirage, activating his six pass stage mode. The Piratirage watched as black markings appeared on the Avatar's stomach, extending down to his tails. This better be good, and Krama muttered. I'm going to combine this with my Susano, and then summon a meteor before destroying it with a tail beast, Ross and Shuriken, and a true second orb, Ross and Shuriken. If I trap someone inside, this they should already be crushed by the rock. And then the explosion should finish them off, along with the extra attack power coming from the Amari Rasu and Susanoo. And if I use Krama's tails to make smaller Ross and Shuriken, oh fuck, I'm just creating shit now. That should be enough attack power to kill anyone. Oh, maybe I shouldn't use it. Yeah, kill anyone. That sounds like it could destroy a planet or two, he said gulped. Naruto grinned, holding his, his arm up. Many true seeking orbs appear, hovering above the avatar's back. Don't worry, I'll test it out away from here. Brace yourselves. For what? He said, curled into a ball on the floor. He Crasped his hands together, praying for his safety. He didn't care that it hurt. He just wanted to live. And we can't survive up here for long, Kiba yelled. Don't worry. Karama's chakra will protect y'all. Naruto laughed as he flew higher and higher, trying to get away from the planes beneath him. Finally, Naruto stood in the vast expanse of the vast expanse of space. Naruto wasn't sure if Lucifer had created this dimension. Ah, excuse me. Knowing that Naruto would need a lot of space. Or if he had given him the, a key to a dimension similar to Kaguya's. Either way, Naruto was grateful. From here, he could see distant constellations that he had never seen before. There was no sun or other planets. There was just this one. And a few comets that passed by. The world beneath him was only green. It was small compared to Earth. Only about the size of a moon. Somehow it had it had its own light source. Shit, he said mutter, staring back down at the planet. We're so high up. This is, this is, did my brother really create this? Alright, okay, let's go, Naruto yelled, holding his fingers up. Here we go. Case Bungie no Jutsu. Naruto summoned two clones to his side. They began to merge with the Avatar, forming the three-headed, six-armed beast he used against Kaguya. Susano, an orange construct form around the avatar, forming an armor-like structure. Finally, Naruto used his Renegon to stop one of the comments in his tracks, and then zoomed over to him, stopping right in front of him. Now then, I'm going to need your help in c controlling this one, Karma, Naruto said. I can't concentrate on using 11 Ross and Shurikens along with Amari Rasu. Yeah, 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 I got it. Krama raised his tails, and Ross and Shuriken and Bennett 
with all the elements slowly began to form. Naruto took his attention away, letting Krama finish that part. Using the arms, he created a tail beast, Rasen Shuriken, and pushed all nine of his true seeking orbs into the other Rasen Shuriken. Finally, using the Susano as a medium, he slowly introduced slowly introduced Amari Rasu into the Ross and Shuriken. Instead of coating the Ross and Shuriken, the flames seemed to whip around it, using the wind as fuel, turning the blades into flame. Naruto looked towards the meteor, not meteor, comet, he was about to destroy. Time to name his new attack. And, I'm going to leave that to y'all in the comments. Name this move. Alright? Name this move. Reese's Piratourage would have told Naruto that this was a stupid... Wait, hold up. Alright, I'm back. Hey, take care of some. Alright, where was I? Um... Did... If it wasn't for the blindness, if not for the blind explosion, went off. If, if it weren't for their devil abilities, they would have been permanently blind and deaf. Even then, they shut their eyes and clapped their hands over their ears. They fell backwards. Naruto fell backwards, avoiding the massive explosion, but they still felt the vibrations moving through the chakra that surrounded them. Naruto tried to shield his eyes, but wait, hold up. I'm sorry for that interruption. <sighs> and I can't remember what was that. Hold up. Naruto tried to shield his eyes, but with his Sharing Gun and Renegade. Mesmerized by the swirl, swirling chakra within, he couldn't look away. And the uh, way the chakra expanded outwards, disintegrating everything in his path. It was his own twisting way beautiful. Being able to see the chakra move, how it flowed, had Naruto in a, in a trance, kind of. The light slowly faded as the chakra finally dissipated, racing through space as fast as light. Naruto watched it go before turning back to look at the Piratarods. They were blinking rapidly, still holding their ears shut. Is it over? Issei asked, shouting since he could barely hear himself. Naruto just nodded. It's no use of saying anything when he couldn't hear. He didn't want them to suffer permanent hearing loss, so as he slowly descended back to the planes, he took the time to heal their ears. Finally, they landed back onto the grassy plains. Naruto let the Susanoo dissipate along with Karama's chakra, leaving only six pass mode. His true seeking orbs circled his back as he finally finished healing Kiba's ears. They landed back on the plains near the still visible magic circle. Naruto deactivated Six Path Sage Mode and he reabsorbed the true seeking orbs. So, what do you guys think? Naruto grinned, turning to the Piratarod. Pretty strong, huh? Yeah, Issei sighed. I don't think anyone could survive something like that. Maybe not here, but I think Madara might have if he had to had time to prepare with his stupid stupidly powerful Susano and the uh, Ten Tails and Jerky at his disposal. I wonder if I'm stronger than him now stronger than him now. I would say that you're just a bit below him. At least at least when he was a Jinjuriki, but he's dead and you're not. You can still get stronger. Naruto, I uh, come to notice that your name 
for your attacks is really long. Keep us said, standing up. And they contain Rasengan or Rasen Shuriken. And the adjectives you seem to use exclusively. What do you mean? He means that your attacks, he means that your naming, your naming sense sucks. Karama took control of Naruto, speaking out loudly. By the way, y'all can make up this name. So right now, I'm just going to try to skip over a bit. He had to admit it was the stupidest name he ever heard of. It was way too stupid. Krama, I told you not to take over like that. Naruto reemerged. And the name isn't that bad. The attack used Amari Ross suits and truth seeking orbs. But that doesn't have to be the name. What about. I don't know. Y'all can make it up. Something simple. Your name and sis is just as bad as Minato. Hey, just because my dad sealed you away doesn't mean you get to insult him. It has nothing to do with that. You're both bad at naming things. The two most brilliant ninja in the in your in their generation, and you can't name for shit. My father isn't that bad. That combo you did with Sasuke. He called it Scorch Release Hollow Hurricane Jet Black Arrow Style Zero. The Pierre Sweat Drop. That was a really bad name. I ain't gonna cap. That was a shitty name. <laughs> but then he said the name was dumb. Naruto referred it. What about Spiraling Flash Super Round Dance House Style 3? He loved that name. Naruto Grimace. He had to admit that the name sounded weird. What was Style 3 even? Why did it? Why did they need to know that it was a third style? And why did it have something to do with dancing or howling? What about Rasengan? It's just a spiraling spear. Perry Sage named that one. Me and tried to name it, and Jiraiya and Kushina both said no. What did he name it? I remember when he finally completed. He brought Jiraiya and Krishna to the training field. His eyes lit up. He shouted, Blue Palm Orb of Ultimate Vorpal Destruction before slamming into a tree. As both Jiraiya and Krishna just looked at him. And Naruto was just thinking. And he said, I hate you. <laughs> well, there's still a shimmering image of your father. Now, he was just a dork with Naruto's eyes. Thank you, Krama, for ruining my father's legacy. It was my pleasure. You suck, Naruto and Grum Grumble. It doesn't matter. I'm keeping the name just to spite you. Which, y'all get to... Y'all get the name in the comments. And give it a good name. I heard Krama grumble growl and smile knowing that he gotten the last laugh his father's image may forever be destroyed but Naruto might get his vengeance by shouting the full name every single time he use it you suck Naruto grunted 17 years with you and you do this to me all right all right well I'm not really sure how much time has passed compared to Earth, so excuse me. So I'm gonna assume that it's the same. We've been here for a few hours. Let's go back. I'll start the training the next time we visit. And so I'm gonna end it off right here. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Leave a like why don't you? If you want to. And until next time, peace.